Hi everybody, it's Christina Butts here with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association's Washington, D.C. office and wanting to kind of give you an update with what we're working on in Washington right now on your behalf. Um, right now it's the end of May and we do expect both the House and the Senate to take up a conference report on a water resource bill known as the WERDA bill that they've been negotiating the conference package for over the last year. We do expect the final conference report, which has been negotiated. Negotiations are final. And the next step is for that conference report to be considered by both the House and the Senate. We expect that to pass the House and the Senate at the end of May and then be sent to the president to be signed into law. One of the key provisions that NCBA and our team here in Washington has been working on with the WERDA bill has been the EPA's SPCC rule, the, the spill prevention, countermeasure, and control rule that has been problematic for cattle producers throughout the country. One thing that we were successful to get into the language of the conference report is language to actually ease the burden on cattle producers and farming and ranching families throughout the country. So many thanks to Senator Inhofe from Oklahoma, Senator Mark Pryor from Arkansas, and Congressman Crawford also from Arkansas for all their work to help negotiate the final language in this, pa in this package. So we do expect this to be considered at the end of May and signed by law to the president um, here also the end of May or early June. Um, we're also looking upon the Senate, or the Senate recess period. So Memorial Day recess in the Senate will be a time when all senators will be back home in their states. This is a great opportunity for you to make sure you're going to their town hall meetings while they're home for the Memorial Day recess period, talking to them about issues that are important to you. If you have an opportunity to invite them out to your family farm or operation, another great opportunity for them and their staff just to make sure we're continually developing that relationship and producers are being seen as a resource on all the issues that we're working here in Washington. The 1st of June, the House is going to have their recess period and another opportunity to make sure you're going to the town hall meetings and visiting with elected officials. And one other issue that's a priority for NCBA staff and all of our membership this year is on another proposed rule by the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA. This is something that we're going to need your help. In order to get the EPA to realize how problematic this proposed rule is, we're gonna need you to attend all the town hall meetings of your elected officials, talk about how problematic this regulation is. It is just a proposed rule. So there are opportunities here to actually make changes um, and submit those, those changes via comments. One thing that you can do that NCBA staff has prepared for you is you can actually visit our website at beefusa.org. That's beefusa.org. And we have some talking points and other helpful information that you can utilize in formulating your own comments to send those in to EPA. We're currently working with the EPA to see if they will extend the comment period, but right now those comments have to be received by July July the 21st. So we're making a big push to make sure that every person who owns land across the country will actually be weighing in with the EPA and tell them that even though we appreciate that they're going through the proposed rulemaking process on how to define waters of the United States, the, dra the guidance document that they've put forward, excuse me, the proposed rule that they've put forward is actually problematic and it's something that they need to reconsider all together. So if you've got a ditch, a playa lake, any type of low-lying level um, on your property or on the land that you lease, you need to be engaged in this rulemaking process. So NCBA, we make it easy for you, but again, we have to have those submitted by July the 21st. So we're hopeful that in all your conversations with your elected officials at your county and your state cattlemen's meetings, that you'll be discussing this and help us do a big grassroots push to get those comments submitted to the EPA. So as we start looking into the summer months, uh, this usually gets to be political season here in Washington. We have several priority issues from dietary guidelines to the Brazil proposed rule, the Grazing Improvement Act on the, on the federal land side. So many of these issues that we're very involved with and also including trade when you look at the Trans-Pacific Partnership. But when we start getting closer to November, the time frame in here in Washington tends to change a little bit. So what we're doing right now is making sure we're continuing our education efforts on Capitol Hill, talking to members of Congress about these priority issues, what they mean to us, about these proposed regulations that are out, our concerns that we have with those. And we sure could use your help from the grassroots level, making sure that you're sharing your concerns and your thoughts with your local elected officials. So if you have questions or need more information, please again visit our website at beefusa.org. There's a lot of information and one-pagers that you can use in your conversations. And then also any questions, feel free to give our DC office a call as we'll be more than happy to visit with you and let you know the conversations we're having with your elected officials.
beneficial. So the one important thing to know is that NCBA, we're only as strong as our grassroots membership. So those of you that are members of NCBA, I want to say thank you. If you're considering joining, I'd encourage you to do so because the stronger grassroots voice we have throughout the countryside makes our jobs here in Washington that much more strong when we can go to Congress and talk about what our concerns are or go to these environmental regulated agencies or the USDA and other agencies and talk to them about our concerns. So again, please feel free to visit our website, beefusa.org. Looking forward for another video update for you here in the next month or so to give you an update on what's going on in Washington. Thank you.